Maruli's commanding the center. She's pushed her out. That's another point to the American. And now it's 4-1. It's been upgraded a point. Uh, well, right now I'm like, I'm wrestling the greatest, most decorated wrestler who's pinned me the only other two times I've wrestled her. And there's one minute, which is a lot of time. And I'm just, I was in such a zone. All I kept saying was, Christ is in me, I am enough. I am enough, I am enough. Christ is in me, I am enough. And uh, I knew she was going to have to go for broke and try something. And I know she's such an incredibly skilled wrestler. So I just wanted to keep good position. And I have to thank my coach, Valentin, because uh, that, uh, to keep the composure and the position there, that has to be something that's trained to become a habit. Um, it wasn't mental, it had to be a, a habit. And this scared me so much. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna fight. I don't care what it takes. I'm just gonna, I'm feeling, trying to feel where she's putting the pressure. I'm trying to calculate what she's gonna attempt. And at this point, I just knew, I was like nine seconds, like there's no way I'm gonna give this up. But then she had some fakes and that was kind of scary. <laughs> For the first time in over four years, Yoshida is beaten. And Helen Marulis of the United States has created a big upset here on the mat. An unbelievable win against one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. You know what? In that moment, I just, in that moment, I was like seven-year-old Helen again. I was like this little shy girl that just started wrestling and just loved sport. I just remember thinking, I've been saying that I want to be an Olympic champion for 17 years. And when it happened, I'm like, really, God, me? Did this, like, is it me? Is it really me? I, I could not, I could not believe it. I've been chasing something. I put it on this pedestal and I thought that you know, I wouldn't be able to be an Olympic champion until I felt like I deserved it. And that there must be some, some level that I have to reach. There must be, it must be some elite club. And I had to accept I might not be the fastest. I might not be the most technical. I'm definitely, you know, not in the, you know, running game with Yoshida on medal counts or anything, but I'm like, I'm enough. And you can be an Olympic champion by being enough. You don't have to be extraordinary or superior. You can be an Olympic champion just by being enough. And that's what it felt like. I was looking for my parents for so long. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't seen when I saw my parents yet. Um, yeah, they just hugged me and they were crying and then my leg was cramping. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't say anything. I was just crying. I just, I wanted to hug them because, you know, my dad told me a year ago, he said, if I could do it all over again, I wouldn't have you wrestle. And I was like, really, why would you say, I was so mad. I, I'm, I looked at him and I, I told my dad, I said, why would you say something like that? And he goes, because I didn't know wrestling was gonna take you from me. Because I moved away when I was 16 and I barely ever get to go home. And to me, it was like really powerful because I'm like, I know I'm willing to sacrifice for my goal because it's my goal. I'll do, you know, I'll sacrifice anything for my own goal, but for someone else to sacrifice I just, it really put into perspective that it's not just me that's sacrificed and it's not just me that's sacrificing. So I wanted to go hug them because I'm like, it was such a victory for all of us.